Okay, confession time. In college, I used to buy the tiny bowls of cereal, you know, the single serve ones, and I would balance it on my laptop because my desk was filled with other hardware and a steering wheel. And it just, I was a geek, okay? I still am. And nothing bad ever happened. I definitely did not spill milk all over my laptop once. And you can't prove otherwise. Surprisingly, the laptop was fine. DVD RW drive and my computer failed and it took a disc out with it. Oh, yikes. I was always scared of those 52X ones. They, they just sounded like they were gonna take off. Brother-in-law lost his phone. Uh, we found it when he flipped the brisket over. <laughs> no, no, do not cook your phone. Barbecue phone does not taste good. I hope you didn't eat the brisket either. And that's why you don't do a build without following a guide. Oh no. What, what did you even do? I decided that my laptop needed more fresh air. <sighs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I let my friend borrow my controller. Not your friend anymore. What the hell did they do? Their, their dog must have got onto it or something. Or your friend is not cute. Do, is your friend a xenomorph? Maybe we need to take out a gecko insurance policy. You know, I, I first thought this was gonna be a typo, but no, apparently geckos are conductive. And whatever this was, was uh, delivering power above the resistance threshold. Some slight gore. I had to replace the battery and ended up causing this. Oh. That's, that's not that bad. Yeah, there's a bunch of screws in the bottom of your laptop. Some of them are short. Some of them are very slightly longer. And you need to make sure to put the right one in the right place. GPU outside of the PC with two power supplies. What could go wrong? Well, that doesn't sound like that bad of, oh. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my God, you're running all this out of a home Dell. Let it die. Just let it die. I mean, I get it. This is crap I would pull when I was a kid, but no. CPUs are great for grooming your cat. Oh my God. Corsair. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Guess the Xbox 360 just slightly overheated. You cook that thing like heretics cook their steaks. Cable hammock. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's that's really cute. I'm gonna suppress the urge to rewire that entire building. I think I'm looking at an art project. There, there's just a motherboard, just just sitting there. <laughs> just a power supply. Did this, did this guy forget to buy a case? Hit a pothole on a road trip a bit too hard. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Broken hard drive disk disk. I, I'm sorry, I'm being pedantic. And also I'm sorry for your data loss. I've already told you about the hard drive that contained the first copy of all of my pictures when I started photography. Just shredding itself like the day I went to go back it up after I got back from camp. My friend's headphones after going through a wash. Oh, I didn't realize they got all wibbly like that. I can't stand wired earbuds, so I'm impressed they survived it all. My friend didn't have a CPU box to take home his Ryzen 5 2600, so he put it in a pack of cards. You know, I mostly hate this, but I, I, on the other hand, I don't see it generating a lot of static and uh, it's protected, just, you know, be careful. If it works, it can't be wrong. <laughs> Uh, on on the flip side of this, Dell power supplies are stupid. This is the Optiplex 740. Shut up. Let me nerd this one. Dell PSUs have a different pinout on on their power plugs, and they also have these little teeth that hook into the case. They're not just normal freaking power supplies. And the older machines, they just they either won't sell you the, them or they're stupid expensive. So you know what? I fully condone this because it's not actually unsafe. The things, the outside of the case is grounded. It's fine, it looks stupid, but you know, Dell made a stupid decision too. This made me want to weep every time we had new intake. Oh, oh, you thought, you think that is bad. Oh, you sweet summer child. Oh, you have not seen bad. Some of the network closets I've administered have been so bad that the cables were one, homemade, and two, were so old that every time you pulled out a cable, the clip would break off and just go raining down, never to be seen again. And the entire thing was just a knot, like a 40 pound knot of cables. This is, this is terrible, but it's fine. Like I could trace this, no problem. It's way worse than all of the cables are just one big solid mass and none of them move when you pull on them. Open the laptop with a broken fan to find this. Uh, <laughs> you, you wanna run that by me? <laughs> did you cook, 
Did this thing cook the inside of itself? Oh, it's an HP. Of course it did. God, that's that that's that's a fire hazard. Genuinely. 2013 MacBook Pro still works. Battery lasts 30 minutes. Okay, I might be missing something here, but uh I don't see any bowing from the battery. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go after keyboard damage. Like, I abuse the hell out of me keyboards. If I'm missing something, I'm sorry. If if it's a beat up keyboard and that's that's like the biggest thing wrong with it, like, oh, I have news for you. The real world is out there and it ain't pretty. Working at a student led IT center. Student left their Chromebook on a flameless stove. Oh, oh, <gasps> induction. <laughs> That's fascinating. That's, I find that genuinely cool. That is fascinating. I want to see footage of, of that cooking itself. The little calculator that could. Memory cleared. I bet it was. <laughs> Would you like to connect to TV Samsung 8 Series 75 inch? Or? <laughs> Which is totally a legit device that won't immediately spray your phone with malware. This is how a friend of mine cools his R9 3950X. Ah, free range and homemade, just like mama used to make. I love the Mac Mini. It loves you too. Uh, maybe not after. What did you do to it? Did you try to repair this thing? You know better. This is how I received a used motherboard I bought. Well, now you have some very pretty wall art. So, I heard we need some three-phase 32-amp DMX512 and some single-phase 32-amp XLR audio? <laughs> okay, all right. This is an extremely niche joke, like even for hardware core. I'm gonna break it down real simple. The tiny plugs on the left are for like stage and club lighting, DMX, and microphone audio, XLR. The ones on the right are for single and three-phase power stonkingly huge power outlets that power things like lathes and manufacturing mills and things that will cook you if you look at them funny. This person clearly makes wires and had access to both of these connectors, connected them together, and has built you a cable that will let you see and hear God. All you have to do is plug it into a lighting controller and a speaker. These are basically literal lightning cables. The loudest bass boost you will ever experience. Also the last bass boost you will ever experience. I paid $70 for this. Uh, uh, on purpose? Or, or at gunpoint? Flea market find, a bunch of iPhone 5S's that had been punctured as part of data destruction. Oh wow, now I'm insanely curious. I'd assume like things like the camera module and things like that would still be good though. Interesting. My friend's phone. The peg keeps the screen working. Best we don't remove the peg. I mean, in the long run, your friend is a genius. You'd be shocked and horrified to learn how much of the internet is just held together with pegs and clips and hopes and prayers and some strings somebody duct taped there 15 years ago and we just don't touch it. Mom's phone screen decided to die. Oh, wow. Holy hell. In like the worst way possible. What happened? Wait, that's where the battery is. That rectangle on the right, like the long rectangle on the right hand side, that's the battery. Oh, oh I, I'd, um, I'd dispose of this safely. I tried to print my photo, but printer fracks it up, resulting in creation of some modern art. <laughs> what, what? I was expecting like a fuser problem or some crappy inkjet. No, it, it rescaled it. What, what the hell? This is not normal. The battery I just pulled out of my razor blade. Oh no, that's, that's my laptop. Yikes. That's, that's no fun. Crap, I'm gonna have to <laughs> keep an eye on that. When the RAM don't fit. A hammer is the solution to all IT problems. I'm not kidding. My old job had a hammer. It was held by basically the longest running on-site operations person. And eventually it came to me. And when I left that job, I took it with me because I'd been there for over a decade. I still have that hammer. I want to get it framed. My brother's rat rod computer uh, he put together. Why? Why are you people doing this? Wait, is this the same person with the Asus card? I, I can't tell if that's the same card. It's the same desktop though. It's the same Inspiron with the graphics card just hanging out the side like somebody just carrying around half their brain. Just a little sack in their pocket. God things. Found in a shallow river, lodged under a rock. It's probably been there since a flood two years prior. <laughs> Calcified motherboard. How old is this? Uh, well, old, old, yes, I see parallel. It's probably been there since before then. My dad's phone is beyond saving. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, it also, again, another Samsung. Look, I like Samsung, but their cheaper phones are crap. And I see the outline of the battery. Very clear as day. That's not good. That's... That's not good. Lost my M2 screw. 
You know, there's a whole channel on YouTube dedicated to what you can do with zip ties and like building cable management and all sorts of stuff with them. This this needs to go in that. I think it's self-explanatory. Uh, all right, what am I what am I looking at? Why, why is this image screwing with my eyes? Oh, the entire screen layer just popped off, but the phone is still working. Oh, that's so cool. God, that looks trippy though, especially at this angle. Shearing a chipset in half. Oh, oh, but, but, but why? Is it like a, a security thing or something? Is there CP? No, yeah, no. I, I don't know. My friend found his iPhone 6 like this after it had been sitting in a closet for a year. Yes, yes, do not just stick your old phones in a box somewhere. Recycle them. If you're in the US, uh, Staples should still do it for free. Best Buy sometimes does it for free. It depends on the location, I don't know. I think Amazon will also do e-waste collection for free. Recycle them, because you do not want them to turn into tiny little explosives. Only slightly damaged. <laughs> <laughs> the word slightly is doing a lot of heavy lifting here. And you want $420? Custom Game Boy Pocket. Okay, I've been I've been trolling around for a purple Game Boy Color and a GameCube because I desperately want them. I do not think I'm gonna look this up right now. A brand new Game Boy Pocket, ice blue in collector's condition, open box is $400. And you want $420 for this pile of garbage. Did you can get a brand new one factory sealed for 500 and a cleaned and tested one for 119. Sit down and eat your garbage. X Smoker cleaned my PC for the first time in way too long. I know, I'm ashamed. Hey, no, no, actually, no. I'm not gonna shame you, because you quit smoking, and that's freaking really hard to do. So if th the worst that happens is you're running five to 10 degrees warmer on your CPU, it's fine. It's genuinely fine. There is zero shame. It, it clean this out and have a slightly better performance and have a way better life. Good job. I snapped my keyboard uh, and and made an abomination. Why did you snap your, oh, it's a memory, never mind. Yeah, this is this is how people get into the two-hand keyboard thing. I, I have purposely not looked up the name of it because every time I start looking that up, I go down the rabbit hole of building one myself and I, I have too many hobbies, all right? I spend enough on keyboards as it is. I don't need that. Spilled water on my computer. I, it's pretty. <laughs> I would have thought this the surface, I think this is a Microsoft surface. I would have thought it would have been slightly more water resistant considering the fact it's supposed to be this portable machine they use it in education. Schools beat the crap out of computers. Surprisingly, it still works, somehow. How, how, oh my God. I'm just getting into digital audio and like synthesizers and stuff. You bend one of these plugs like a quarter of a millimeter and it stopped working. How is this still working? B button stopped working and I got angry. Blah. Uh, wow, wow. Look, everyone rages. I think everyone rages. I've never broken a controller. I, I don't even think I've broken a keyboard. Like, I think I broke a pencil once when I was like 14. But oh, did, did you just like twist it off with your bare hands or did you chuck it? Wow, the poor controller. My friend put his tablet on the hot stuff. Wow, that's kind of pretty actually. That's wild. Does it still work? No, I want to know if it still works. My laptop after cleaning. What, 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 what did you, what did you use on it? Did you clean this with acetone or something? Or oh, don't tell me you sent this to like a shop or something. At Jesus. Oh, oh my God. What? I spilled coffee on my GTX 1060. Uh, what do I do? You buy another one. It's been like six months. You buy another one. Haven't cleaned it in like three years, to be honest. You buy another one. It's most likely a mouse in the PSU shroud. You kill the mouse and then you buy another graphics card. Support team. Oh, it, it also got flooded like two years ago. What the hell happened to your machine? How the frack do you even? A fire sprinkler went off on it. <laughs> My answer has not changed. You throw it out or you recycle it and you buy another graphics card. Figured out while my laptop was taking off uh, when there were two Chrome tabs open. Didn't clean the fans? Uh, yeah, I didn't clean the fans. That'll do it. And no shame or guilt or anything. I'm guilty of it too. I don't clean my laptop fans nearly enough. I still need replacement fans for my last laptop. The right the right fan just went kaput in the middle of a recording session for MK actually. And you just heard the fan just grinding against the bearings. It was great. It's gonna be over $100 for a stinking fan. Our train station displays speak enchanting table now. The next train arriving on platform three is the Making station stops at 
My Oculus Quest 2 controller after playing Gorilla Tag. Oh no. Oh no. It's all gone wrong. I don't even, even know what Gorilla Tag is, but that, that, that doesn't sound good. RAM upgrade? Oh goody. Wow, I had no idea you could put RAM into PCI slots. Boy, they sure are versatile. Bought a used keyboard from eBay and this thing showed up. What the? Hell. No, 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 this, this is, this is dark. This, no, 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 this, no. Kill it, kill it. Mmm, toasty. Did, did you, did you run this without a heat sink? What, what did you do? Welcome to McDonald's. Try a... Uh, hey, can I get a... Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Demons. Remember, kids, don't use cheap thermal paste and twist before pulling. I think it's thirsty. No, no, absolutely not. No, no, no. 